What's up guys? So today we're gonna do Mario. So if you wanna become a developer without a degree, check out the description below where you have a video where I explain how to become a developer. Uh, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So Mario is pretty cool. So basically we're gonna create this kind of like a pyramid like structure. There are two Mario versions, Mario Less and Mario More. We'll be able to do the, both of them here. Uh, so let's start with the left hand side and then the right hand side. So let's move to the code. One thing that I did in my code is to do it. Uh, I did it, uh, let me actually comment this out because this is the second part. So I, the way I did is through function. So one way that I'll, I see a lot of people doing is having a huge main code. And it's really hard to debug when you just have a huge main. Uh, I like breaking things down into functions. It's always a good practice of clean code. So how are we gonna do that? We need to get the intuition that somehow that, that the number of spaces and the number of hashes that we're printing are inversely proportional. So as we increase the number of rows, the number of spaces decreases and the number of hashes increases. So there is some relationship here. Let's look at the case where we have eight as an input. How many spaces we have? We have I don't really know because it's hard to see, but I know I have eight hashes. Let's actually go from the bottom up. So how many spaces I have in the last row? Zero. How many hashes? Eight. In the second last, I have one space and seven hashes. In the previous, I have three, uh, two spaces and six hashes. So depending on which row we are, that's going to determine how many spaces we have. And the same for the hashes. If we're on row one, we're going to print one hash. On row two, two hashes. On row three, three hashes. So this is why I use two functions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have, uh, 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 we're going to ask the user for an input. Uh, to make it valid, we want it to be from zero to eight, right? So we actually want a do while loop. So let's create a do while loop. So do while loop, it's pretty interesting because basically it keeps doing something. Uh, it will run at least once. So let's get here rows, declare the variable rows, and now I'm going to say rows equals uh, get int, and then my condition is while rows less than zero or oops or row greater than i, because basically. I want, I want it to be between 0 and uh, 8, right? So, so if it's not, I want to keep looping, okay? So that's basically my condition. And then I have two loops. I have an outer loop. So this outer loop here, it starts at 1. Usually our loops start at 0. As programmers, we're used to starting loops at 0. But why do we start it at 1? because it will help us to solve the problem because we know that at row one we print one hash at row two so the row number can tell us how many hashes we are going to print and since at row one which we usually start at zero but it's actually one we print one hash why not just make row one and then we'll go up to number of rows so this is actually called num rows and this is num rows okay so we're going to go from one up to number of rows. So if I have eight, I'm going to print eight rows. So that's responsible for printing the number of rows. How do we go? So, so then we have two steps. We print the number of spaces. That's the number of spaces here on the left hand side. And then we print the hash. How, what determines the number of spaces? So here's the formula. It's the number of rows minus the current row we are at. <gasps> So the first, what is the number of rows here? Eight. Which row am I at at the beginning? Row one. So eight minus one, seven spaces. Here is row two. Eight minus two, six spaces. The last one will be row eight. So eight minus eight, zero spaces. So I'm passing as a parameter to this function the number of spaces I'll have. And that is that comes from the formula number of rows minus the row I'm currently at. Uh, how did I figure this out? So before just coding, try to see if there is a pattern you can see. And if you think about it, the number of rows is decreasing according to which row we're at. And then based on this number of rows minus the row I'm currently at, I'm going to print 
space. So let's take a look at print spaces. It's pretty straightforward. We start from one, go up to num of spaces, and we print the space. All right. So that will be responsible.